this um is this the zoom in button? Okay. You may not know how to cook, but you know how to defend yourself. Um let's see. This is soap, this is not cooking oil. Um This is good, this is good. This is uh this is Bertoldi, okay? And it's olive oil from hundred percent. Interrupt your regular scheduled program to bring you Mrs. Bunbury. Okay, let's see. I haven't eaten in a couple weeks. Um, remember this room? Yeah, good times. Uh, here's here's some food. Some food here. Um. Hi, okay, we're um sitting on my couch, which I, in fact, do own. I got my remote control. So, let's see what's on the television. Your host, Mrs. Bunbury. You know, there's been a lot of news stories down downtown. There's been some elections. There's been um, some fraud. There's been uh, some identity theft. Um... There's a, there's going to be a, um, party, uh, over there. There might be, um, they're launching some kind of nuclear missile, I think, so that should be fun. Uh, um, what else? And the teleprompter is faster than my brain. Uh, <coughs> looks like, uh be a event happening in, in a place. Um, here's the weather with Mr. Longitude. Uh, there's going to be a hurricane, so that's probably right here. Um, and then there's probably going to be Um, some thunder coming down from longitude. Uh, there's going to be a hurricane, so, so so put the kids in the car and drive away as soon as you can. Um, uh, okay, that's enough of that. I don't know if uh, I'm o just overreacting here, but the TV was... Um, weird. I don't. I couldn't. I couldn't really tell you why, but it it wasn't my normal daily programming. Reginald, why aren't you showing me my new show anymore? Instead, you're just showing me some creepy person. Hmm. Maybe Mrs. Bunbury knows. To um, be a polite person, I'm going to call Mrs. Bunbury first, then go over her house. So the number is seven five thirty.
pi. That's the number. And then press call. Hi, Mrs. Bunbury. It's Mrs. Bunbury calling. Um, my TV's not working, and since you're so efficient with technology, um, could I come over for some crumpets and you can tell me how it works? Okay, bye. So, now we just wait. Today I'm having Mr. Bunbury over, my husband. Um, we are going to get up. Um, we're going to catch up. We're not going to eat ketchup. We're going to catch up on old times. So, um, Charles said that the, that the best way to be a host for a party is to have cookies out. So, I'm having the cookies out. Um, this looks like a fine spread of cookies to, to have out for, for uh, Mr. Bunbury. We split up after the war. Yep, yeah, um, uh, Reginald, I mean, my TV's not working. Got to swing on by um, for some teen crumpets, and you can show me how to fix it. All right, okay, okay. Mrs. Bunbury said I could come over. I, I was drinking my water. I just realized that um, by going over Mrs. Bunbury's house, I'll have to go outside. So here, here I go, just walking. There was a rabbit. I'm just walking down to Mrs. Bunbury's house. She moved in a couple months ago. We're pretty, pretty tight. Like three bags in a bunch. Just gotta see if the gotta see if the door that's where I used to live when I was a vagrant um, I have to see if the door is unlocked yes okay let's go Charles I mean mr. Um, mrs. Bunbury are you in here, in here. I, no one told me how to put this damn thing on Oh, Mrs. Bunbury, hold on. I'm just in the parlor. I'm getting the crumpets ready. I'm so glad Mrs. Bunbury could stop by for some um crumpets, 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 crumpets. No. No. Killy pepper. I think they're Ecuadorian crumpets. Here you go, some crumpets for my favorite neighbor. Wow, thanks, Mrs. Bunbury. You're very kind and generous. Come in, come in. Just have a seat right over there. Help yourself to the crumpets I put out on the table. Great, thanks. So, what seems to be the problem today, Mrs. Bunbury? from our conversation over the phone um that was nothing ignore the knocking um as you know my television isn't working and i know since you are able to hack computers and um infiltrate the government um maybe you could help me with mm-hmm mm-hmm i see uh, i think i have just the thing for you just sit here and eat crumpets. Don't go anywhere, okay? I did, don't go anywhere, okay? Brandy! Brandy's my owl. Brandy, go get the thing, Brandy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm.
I can't stay long, Mrs. Bunbury. Mr. Bunbury's coming over. Um, and I need to get the cookies out for him because we need to catch up. You know how it is. I have to go, it's not safe for me here anymore. I have to pack up my bags. I have to get everything they found out. Radio, check. I must notify the constabulary. Um, menu, volume two. Volume, okay. Just a second. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Um, well, judging by um, how dark it is out now, I'd say it's a couple days. Uh, Mrs. Bunbury still is not back yet, so I don't know what um, she had to go find, but I've just been sitting here watching my favorite channel, but uh, nothing, uh, nothing happened, so I don't, I don't, I even uh, realized that I went outside perfectly unafraid, so, you know, I guess I had a really um, progressful day. It was really good. What the hell are you doing here, Mrs. Barberry? Uh, oh, um, uh, Mr. Alfonso, that guy I worked for um, a couple months ago. Um, well, this is really simple to explain. Basically, uh, wait a minute, what am I doing here? The amnesia's kicked in. Well, um, it's been great seeing you say hello to the wife. <laughs> I have to go back to Jersey. It's not safe here. Hello. The re that's 100% cornstarch people don't turn the dial because we're just getting started <laughs>